old guy here. We're going to talk about breakup grates. Mark 5, Mark 6 VWs. This is my TDI. Has the standard 288 by 25 rotor with, you know, whatever caliper came on it. Uh, I'm looking at bolt on upgrades. Uh, R32, uh, GTI, uh, maybe even Mark 7, uh, GTI or uh, GTI Sport or R brakes. You know, we're going to take a look at what might fit. Now, granted, this isn't, uh, you know, as wonderful as maybe a 17Z, a Porsche 17Z or Brembo 17Z or 18Z. The thing I like about it is it'll fit underneath a stock wheel. So, and it's bolt-on. You take one off, you bolt on the parts for the thing. You don't need any adapters or any special rotor. It's just OEM parts. So, anyway, that's what I call my budget upgrades. And we're going to take a look and see what fits on a standard Mark V hub. And basically the Mark VI is the same thing as this. So basically Mark VI and Mark V upgrades. Okay, this is the first upgrade we're gonna put on the car today. This is off a of GTI, either a Mark VI or a Mark V, I can't remember which. We have a rotor, this is a 310 by 25. Now if you remember, I said the stock rotor was a 288 by 25. Now the interesting thing about this upgrade is this shield which I took off a GTI out of a junkyard so I know it was off a GTI has the same exact part number as the stock 288 by 25 now this caliper here it's red wonderful but this caliper has a code on it VL 581 okay that caliper is the same one that's on my TDI the only difference between this caliper I mean this whole caliper and carrier than what's on my GTI is the carrier itself the idea behind this carrier is it moves the caliper further away from the center of the hub. This is needed because this rotor is 310. So this increases the torque factor, which increases your brake a little bit, but it's a very slight upgrade. This bracket here, which holds the uh, hose on, it has, it's basically the same number as what's on the car, except this is an E and the one on the car is an F. And, but comparing them, they're almost exactly the same. And like I said, so if you want to upgrade your brakes, now these are red, okay? So the whole thing, but it's just basically the carrier and the rotor that are an upgrade from a stock Mark V 288 25 rotor and caliper to this. So we're going to bolt this up and this has, like I said, the same exact part number. So we're going to bolt this up. Okay, this is your first budget option. Mark V, Mark VI GTI front brakes. Uh, 310 by 25 rotor. Stock rotor is 288, so it's not a big increase. Now, as I said upon the bench, this caliper is just the same as the stock caliper. The only thing different is this caliper carrier. It's a little bit different so that it's farther out to match up with this um, particular rotor. So I mean if you want to just buy the carrier that's possible but finding just the carrier without the caliper isn't real easy. Uh, and like I said up on the bench this splash plate is exactly the same as a stock one. All right they didn't do anything I mean 288 to 310, 20 millimeters, it's not going to make a difference on the splash plate. So they saved on the caliper when they upgraded. 
and they saved on the splash shield. Those were already being made. Now, I don't have any pads in here because the only pads I have that are the stock pads and they're hanging from the other caliper. But anyway, this is your first option. I mean, it's a nice looking red brake and you know, it's one of the things you can do. Just throw these on front and rear. Now the rear is a little bigger. So you get a little bit better braking because you have a torque arm. The farther you come out on the rotor, the larger the rotor or the diameter of the rotor, the higher your torque. Anyway, this is your first budget option. Okay, next up what we have here is an R32. Brake setup off a 2008 R32. Now, there's a million videos out there that show this is bolt up, but I'm just going through the options here to show you what it, the upgrades are. This is a 345 by 30 rotor. This is the RS2 splash shield. And this is the caliper. This caliper is kind of heavy, but we're going to bolt this up and I'll show you how it fits. It just, I, I'm not going to put it together because again, there's videos on how to put it on there and everything. I'm just going to show you what fits. So this is your 2008 R32 brake caliper option. Now considering my TDI is a 2010. I mean, this is just the basic brake system. So this is a 340 by 30 rotor, RS2 splash shield, RS2 caliper. It all bolts up. The hose back here is just the right length. It fits right in, so you can just use the stock hose. I mean, you can use the R32. You need to do use the R32 hose because on the back side of this caliper, there's a, a hard line that adjusts this to the. Uh, but this just, you know, this just fits right up here. Anyway, this is your R32 option. Okay, this is basically a setup from a Mark 7 GTI Sport R, a S3, which this, hap this caliper happens to be off of, it's all the same. All right, this rotor is only 340 by 30 versus the 345 by 35 for the R32. This is a splash shield off an R32 that you would have to use with this setup because the front shield from a Mark 7 uh, GTI Sport R and everything else, or the S3 like this one is, these holes, mounting holes, are in a totally different place. Now, this shield will work with this brake setup. So if you go to use this brake setup, you're gonna need an R32 shield. You can't use the R, uh, the Mark 7. Now, the other thing about this particular caliper is this hose. Okay, from here to here, where it fits in the plate that's on the car, um, let's see. Okay, this plate here that's on the car, all right, that this fits into, all right, this distance is the same as your stock or within a, a cent one centimeter of your stock hose length. This part here that goes up into the car, since this is from a, a an Audi S3, this is significant longer. So if you're gonna put this on your car, you would need to, um, you know, you would need to use your stock hose. You can't use the one off the S3. I don't know what the hose is like off a of Mark 7 GTI Sport. I am assuming it's about the same. I don't have one with me, so I can't tell you. Okay, so as I explained up on the bench, this caliper here, is off an S3, but it's the same caliper as a Mark 7 GTI Club Sport and a Mark 7R. As you can see, this fits right up. Now, as I explained on the bench, this hose is too long, okay? So you're gonna have to use your stock hose on here. 340 by 30 rotor, and this is the RS2 Splash Shield. Everything bolts up, nothing interferes, and you're good to go. I put this bolt, as a little tech tip, I put this bolt in here, and I kind of hold my caliper with it, because that way when I'm putting this screw in, 
I'm not putting a lot of force on it to hold the hold the uh, rotor on, and plus I use a, a wheel hanger. So between the wheel hanger and this, it puts less force on here. Just a little tech tip. Now I'm just showing you a comparison between these two calipers. This caliper on the left is off of Torag, I think 2017 up or somewhere around there. Unless you absolutely have to have red, these two calipers are exactly the same. The only difference is it doesn't have a place for a label. Okay, so no label, label. Now in here they put, you know, if it's an R and it's black, they put black, or if it's a GT, if it's a 2000, if it's a Mark 7 GTI Sport, this says GTI, I think. Anyway, these calipers are both the same. So if you don't have to have red, this caliper is going to be a lot cheaper. And it's the same caliper. Okay, so anyway, we're going to bolt that one up too, and you can see how it fits. Anyway, these are the options I'm looking at as the budget front brake caliper. The other thing about this particular, these two Mark 7 calipers, is the piston for the uh, pads, this piston's bigger on the Mark 7 than it is on the R32. Just something to think about. I think this is 60 versus 55. Anyway, we're going to bolt all this up. Just going to show you that everything fits. So this is the last option we're putting on here. Now this, as I explained up on the bench, is off a of Torag. Part number is 3C0. 615123 and the other side's 124. As you can see, it bolted up just like the S3, the Mark 7R, and the Mark 7 uh, GTI Club Sport. This is the same caliper. So if you don't mind not having a little label here and it's not painted red, you can paint it any color you want to, black or whatever. Um, or maybe you said you got a different set of brakes in the rear and you want to paint this to match. Again, the R32 uh, splash shield, 30 by 340 by 30 rotor, and it bolts up. So this is even your more of a budget option because it doesn't, it's not painted red and it doesn't have a little label or it's not painted black. Anyway, this is the options you have. Just trying to show you what's out there. This is my thoughts and this is what I did and you don't have to follow anything. <music>